Hello. <coughs> no, I'm just gonna give it a minute for people to come in. I love how the thumbnail is literally just a circle, like anyone could make that. <laughs> Hello, chat! Hello! The eclipse just happened! I just watched it, so now I'm gonna- I'm gonna remake it. I'm going to remake it in GD, so that those who couldn't see it, will- will get to see it on this stream. I know, it's awesome. Did the solar eclipse happen? It just- uh, yeah, there's one today. It just happened where I live, so that's always good. Yo, yo, yo. Also, stick around to the end of this stream because I will be announcing a uh, an, an event which you guys will be able to uh, participate in. Just remind me because I'll probably forget. <laughs> How long will it take? We'll make the solar eclipse in like 10 minutes. Like, it won't take long because I want to work on another level after, so... <laughs> I'm the goat for this. I'm going to remake exactly what I saw, chat. I promise you, it's not... It's not too hard to remake. So this is just as good as the actual experience. So those of you who missed it, don't worry. Let's let's play some nice medieval music because people in medieval ages must have been absolutely terrified when they saw solar eclipses. All right, let's get in here. So first things first, we're gonna need to make a black background. Uh, let's also change the music solely because I don't want these uh these these orange lines. Then let's place a guide trigger, and this is where we're gonna let's give it a group ID. This is where our view is gonna be. So let's give it a group ID of one. Let's set a static for one, and now, there you go. That's that's what our view is gonna be. Let's speed run this. So let's get a circle. Here, let's actually make it small because it wasn't that big in real life. Bro is just gonna make nothing. <laughs> Look, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, cool. So let's give ourselves like a nice sun. And then, let's give ourselves a moon. Let's get moon, group ID 2. Let's make 2 move 2 blocks that way, 2 blocks up, and like... It actually took like 10... It, it took a while for it to move, but I'm gonna speed it up for the sake of this. BOOM! Okay, it didn't look like that 100% for me. It moved like a little bit more for me. Yeah, it, not that much though. It was like, I'm trying to make this look exactly like what I saw. Black circle over a slightly bigger yellow circle over yellow. True. Now, when you use the glasses, you actually can't see like much glow at all. So yeah, that's, I didn't get 100%. I got like 98. So I'm going to try and recreate what I saw. It was like this. It just took like 10 minutes. There you go. That's pretty much it. That's perfect. Let's make this don't fade, don't glow, and let's watch it. Let's remove the attempt count. <laughs> uh, where is it? It's the options trigger. Where's the options trigger? Here it is. Uh, attempt count, hide attempts on. Okay. Here we go! It just, just, it, it was like that, but it took like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> insane, I know, that's what it was like. <laughs> We're so insane, aren't we? Okay, okay, I actually want to add some glow, just because there was a little bit of glow through the glasses. Uh, where's glow? Here it is. Let's get like, let's make it ID 2... Very dark. Okay, not that dark. Let's make it a little, a little brighter. There you go. It wasn't even that bright, honestly. The glow was like, it was very subtle.
This is rate worthy true. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looked like. The most interesting part of it wasn't even the actual eclipse. It was what happened, like, in the area around me. Because the, the it, it got super dark out. Like, I kid you not, the light level, like, outside, like, decreased by, like, half. Like, it was actually kind of insane. And there was, like, a whole minute where I actually got these lights outside that turn on when it gets so dark. And it got so dark that they turned on. So it was very interesting. I can't recreate that in GD unless I want to dox myself, but... Here you go, here's our eclipse for those of you who missed it. Bro, my eclipse was covered by clouds. Mine was too. Mine was covered by clouds as well, but literally like, like I kid you not, like 10 minutes before it came out, it went from like clouds everywhere to a perfectly blue sky. I lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our eclipse bro won the lottery with them clouds i literally did it was like I, i'm like i'm not even gonna see it but no i, I lucked out i feel bad for uh, people who didn't get to see it i mean it, it, like it wasn't that entertaining like as i said when you're wearing the glasses this is about all you see but it's still interesting You know those 1.9 levels where it's like blacks and lots of cities? We need more of those. That is what I know as the sunset style. It is very good. I would love to see more levels like that. It's just I'm not good at art, so... So I can't make it myself. Can't yeah, be reading this. Make the moon slightly smaller. I know it is technically supposed to be slightly smaller in real life, but from what I saw, it, it looked more or less like this. Yeah, pretty much like that. It got pretty small though, the sun did. I might, to be honest. Oh yeah, you totally should. Sunset levels are cool. <laughs> I think there'd be more light. Well, I'm trying to, like, when you wear the glasses, guys, there really isn't much light at all. Like, yeah, it, like, like they're real, it's just a small, tiny, subtle amount. That, that, like, there's actually very little glare. The thing is, I can now use a shader trigger to make the player black as well. Oh, wait, that's so true, actually. You might be cooking. That would be fire. Like, a sunset level where the player is actually black. Like, if we go to sunset. Okay, this one might look ugly. Um, is there any good sunset levels? I don't like that one. The world, that's a good one. Like this? Imagine this, but the player was also black. Multi, I love your content, especially the straight fly vid. Thanks, man. Although I do believe the straight fly vid was, uh, was stallions, but I was in it and I had lots of fun with it, so that's good. Tidal wave, please. We should make a solar eclipse in this level. Okay, no. CO2, oh no, it's so sad. Nah, sunset levels are fire though. I wish there were more of them. They could definitely be made so much cooler now that we have like 2.2 features. And we have like gradient triggers and stuff as well. So the gradients in the background will be able to be more smooth. Moldy Pillar, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. True. That's it for the stream, guys. But no, I'm kidding. So that's the solar eclipse. That's what we played again in case those of you want to see it. It's just that, but it was like over over like 10, 20, 30 minutes. The more interesting part was like how the light around me like dimmed like like it got really dark outside Well, that's a once-in-a-lifetime event 
next one's in like 300 years or something. So I mean, maybe 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 I'll be revived by then if like Elon Musk's stupid brain chips work out. But right now, I don't. I think this might be my first and last solar eclipse. And I, I didn't I didn't get a hundred. I didn't get a complete solar eclipse. By the way, a complete solar eclipse would look like this. Okay, let's play it in normal mode. But a complete solar eclipse, it should be like perfectly in the middle. Like, like, yeah, there's like a brief period of time where like you can see the ring around it. That's what a complete solar eclipse was. Mine wasn't like that. The one I saw was like 98%, which was this. I am only here for the dancing moldy. True. True, true, true. How to make a rate where level get molded to make the solar eclipse for you. Nah, I don't know. That That's what I saw through my glasses. It honestly isn't too interesting. Like, the solar eclipse itself wasn't interesting. The most interesting part was how it actually darkened the outside. But yeah, only for like a minute. And it wasn't like, like pitch black. It was only like half darkness. It was almost like sunset. It was like that level of light, but in the middle of the day, which was weird. Can I give you tips to become a good creator? Uh, my biggest tip for new creators is to literally just keep making stuff and make sure everything you make is better than the previous thing you make. Literally just do that and then after a while you'll you'll become good, right? What should I name the 2.2 sunset level? Whatever you want, man. I'm not good with names. All right, gamers. Speaking of levels. Speaking of levels. Uh, this is a level that I've been working on. You may have seen it if you're in my Discord server, because I posted, like, a preview. But, if we play it, it's just a blank screen. No, no, no. This is a, uh, this is a, like, like, it's meant to be a game in Geometry Dash. So this is going to be the menu screen. It's just I haven't made it yet. But when you actually click the start button, you'll get a cutscene. I know, a nice level. It's just a blue background. No, but when we click start... We got a cutscene. Let's watch it together. You and your bro, relaxing in the dashlands. What could go wrong? Should I click continue? No! Evil Chuppy! He stole him. We have to go save him. We must go, chat! Level 1! And here we go. This is the level I was working on. It is a full-on game in geometry. It's SMB3. Yeah, that, that's what inspired this. So we're literally making SMB3 in geometry. Dash. We can get a diamond there because each level has three diamonds. And diamonds are like the currency of this game. Coins are too, but mostly diamonds. There's a lot of puzzles in this. Like, like if you want to get these coins, instead of jumping over here, which is the obvious thing, you have to... Oh, shoot! Let's just, let's just pretend that didn't happen, and let's run back very quickly. Oh shoot. <laughs> Look, it's a puzzle, guys! It's a puzzle! Cause you get here, and you're like, uh, here, where is it? It's like here, for example. Actually, where was it that we died before? I think it was like over here. Yeah, it was over here. So it's like, okay, you wanna jump up and to the left but if you do that you fail so what you have to do is you have to actually jump to the right and then jump here so it's like a puzzle so smart <laughs> okay this part is a little tough now here's the thing chat should we go for the secrets actually no, let's use the official pause menu this game actually has a real pause menu should we go for the secrets like which would spoil it I don't know if I want to spoil the secrets yet, right? Because there's actually a secret here. But I'm like, should I go the intended way or should I go the secret way? 
Because there's a bunch of secrets in the level. Don't spoil? Should I spoil or not? I'm seeing a lot of yes and no's. Okay, okay. I I I'll spoil a little bit, but I won't spoil everything. So, there's a secret here. If you jump up here, is a that's how you get this. That's kind of obvious. I won't spoil all the secrets, so don't worry. That one's pretty obvious, so I'm fine giving away that one. But I want to leave some of them. Anyway, that's level one. And we can go to the shop. And if we have 30 coins, we can buy more gems, but we can't right now, so we're gonna go back. Anyway, okay chat. We're on a split path. Do we go to level 2 or 3? Let's make a poll. Start poll 2, 3. Which level? Okay, go. Vote on the poll. I like one of these levels a lot better than the other, but... Moldy, I think the contrast on the grass... Wait, I think the contrast on the grass and flowers are way too high, even for a retro game like this. How do you mean? Like, on the map? Two is winning. Do you guys really want two? Like, it feels the flowers? That's probably because the grass is actually darker than the flowers. That actually wasn't intentional, it's just the blocks I used. But yeah, I can fix that if I really wanted. But I don't want to make the grass too bright. I kind of like it how it's darker. And I also want the grass and stuff and flowers to be visible because they're supposed to be like barriers. Okay, you guys really want two, so... Let's go to two, even though I like three better, personally. Anyway, jump ring cavern. I think Moldy likes three more. I do. Of all the levels that... In this, uh... In this game, three is, like, probably my favorite right now. I haven't made all the levels yet, though. That's the problem. Hmm, what's in here? We'll save that. We'll, uh, oh shoot, I just fell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, we don't have to go in there. That's a spoiler. It's a secret area. We don't need to do all the secrets. A secret. This level's like only up, man. This level's tough. And it used to be so much harder too, but I just kept nerfing it. I still honestly think this is probably the hardest level in the game right now. So maybe I should nerf it even more. Actually, I don't know. I, I made it a lot easier. You just need to be very good at spam clicking on this part here. Nerf or I will eat you. Maybe I will nerf this. I kind of want this level to be accessible. I really wanted this level to be easy demon. But I also want it to be more accessible. So I might just make it like an 8 star or something. Anyway, should we do three now, or should we move on to four? Three? Okay, I think you get- we'll, we'll do- let's do three. Let's do all the levels available. So this is probably my favorite level in the game right now. Because it's like- it's a- it's a very interesting concept, I think, and I really like the secrets in this one. Four. We'll do four after this. So there's an obvious one here where you have to get that. Like, I really like the challenges in this one. And I'm just gonna say, chat, we are passing a lot of secrets, but I'm not gonna go to all of them because I want to save them. Uh-oh. It's over. I suck. All right. We gotta jump over this ball. And we gotta go quickly. How's the name of the level? Is not out yet, but I think I'll name it the Dashlands. Here's an interesting secret. This one's tough. You gotta like run down there. Oh, that's not really a secret. That's just a challenge. There are actually hidden secrets that I'm not going to yet. I 
Name it Super GD World. That would be an interesting name, actually. Super Geometry Dash World. Anyway, here's another shop. We can actually buy these three gems, which would put us at six. We need nine to get this user coin. Do the eclipse. This level isn't the eclipse. We did the eclipse at the start of the stream. You can go back if you want to watch that, but we're going to work on this level now. Maybe. I don't know. Are the levels finished? No, not all the levels are finished. So level 4 is the last level I have finished. So if we go in level 4, it is a water level. Everyone's favorite level. I know. Would you play this on mobile? It is possible on mobile. I would recommend PC, so that the the like the like things in the top left corner, like like these, like these these things here, so that they make sense, because they're designed for PC. But it is possible on mobile. We. There's a hidden gem here. I think I found the Sunset Level Climate Corruption. Yo! It has a nice acronym, CC. Let's grab this gem. Oh. Yo, was a good first stream. Yo, that's awesome. Welcome, man. We're just working on this level. All right. The last thing I have is is this. This is the last thing that I have so far in the game. It is a shop, which is way overpriced. I'm gonna have to lower these prices. <laughs> You should really add blockades so you can't go further. There actually are blockades. They're just invisible, like in Super Mario uh, 3. I, I I disabled them for now, just for testing, but in the final level, they will be there, so you won't be able to progress until you beat the level. That's good, Molly. This is also my first stream. Yo. Anyway, so the only things we have left to do in this level chat are level 5, this shop, and then level 6. So what we're going to do now is work on level 5. The only problem is I have zero idea what I want to do for level 5. I know I want it to be mushroom themed because it's by like these mushroom things. But I have no idea what to do with it. Did I make the eclipse auto scroller? I do want to make an auto scroller. Hear me out, hear me out. I do want to make this an auto scroller. The only problem is I know people hate water levels and I know people hate auto scrollers. So I really don't want people to do a water level and then immediately do an auto scroller right after that. Right? Bouncy mushrooms. That is a good idea. Actually. I just thought that might be too generic of an idea. I don't know. Bouncy mushrooms would be cool. Is there anything else we can like like we, is there anything else we can do like alongside bouncy mushrooms? Because what I did for this one level up here level two I did um not I did I didn't do orbs, but I did moving orbs. That's the That's the gimmick here because orbs would have been too generic. So I made them move. I still don't like this gimmick very much, but Did I see full totality? No, I only saw like 98%. Uh, I'll show you. I recreated what I saw, chat. So I'll show you guys who are who just joining the stream. This is what uh, I saw pretty much. It was still pretty good, but it wasn't 100%. Hmm. Hmm. 
make zip lines in level five. How would we do zip lines? That would be cool. I'm just trying to think how to do that. We need a we needed a, a gimmick, chat. We need a gimmick that we can use, like um, that that we can do a lot of cool things with. Can I make the background darker? Like what, in like level one? Is this background too light? Spinning dash orb, that would be cool. We need, I, I like mushrooms. We can try mushrooms. I just think we need something else to go alongside it, so. Especially if it's gonna be an auto scroller. Should we make an auto-scroller? I really want to make an auto-scroller level. It's just I know people hate auto-scrollers, so putting an auto-scroller right after a water level does not sound like a good idea. Purple spore shooting mushrooms. Make an entire game with eight worlds? I would love to. The problem is, Geometry Dash has a song limit. So right now, each level has its own music, but that's not, like, there's a song limit of, like, ten songs or something. So I honestly can't have that many levels, right? Without going over the song limit. Maybe it's possible to get around that by doing, a By doing, like, a like by making putting a bunch of different songs into one song somehow and uploading it to new grounds but i don't know like world 2 toxic factory true make a part 1 and part 2 of the game maybe yeah maybe we could do that we can make it like a series That's why I wouldn't let me upload my level of 246 songs in it. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Moldy games, I hit the song limit in that, so that's why I can't really update it anymore, so that sucks. Let's see. Let's see. We gotta think. We gotta think. Let's head into the editor and you guys can see how messed up all my trigger logic is. Yeah, look how look how well organized this is. I don't even know what half this does. Uh, this is this is like the pause menu. This is the level loading system. Uh, this is I don't even know what this is. This is like the map logic I think over here. I also have like a win logic and shop logic, a an on death. Lo I don't know. There's a lot of things messed up in this. <laughs> you know, I can do yeah, that that's why I that's why I've been hesitant to stream this to stream this because Brad says he can't tell what's going on. And like that's why I'm scared to stream this, because I'm like, I'll have to do a lot of trigger logic to make a level, right? So I'm afraid that people just won't be interested in it because I don't think everyone understands trigger work. I don't even understand it fully. I don't organize my levels. I don't either, although I really should. The most organization I do is some arrows and labels. Like here we have level 1, uh, shop 1, level 2, level 3, shop 2, level 4, shop 3. But it's horribly organized. How can I tell what I'm doing? I can't, man. <laughs> I forgot what half these half these things do. All I know is that if I remove something, the whole level breaks, so. 
One thing I'm gonna do really quickly, I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, there we go. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna explain why, because all I know is that it breaks if it's not bigger. Uh, here we have the jump block logic, that's what all this is. It, that's what controls these blocks here. This is, this is, um, I don't even know what this is. This is the rolling boulders, this is... Oh, this is the... This is this level here. I don't know what this does. Oh, that's the flag, I think. That's the flag animation at the end of each level. There's a little flag. I don't know. Alright, mushroom mounted. I think we should do a mushroom level. I just, uh, even like a mushroom mountain-ish level. It's just, I don't know how to, um, like how to, like wh what should our game, like what should our gimmick be? Bouncy mushrooms, I guess. I don't know. Let's just get started and we'll think of things along the way. So let's move all the way over to here so that we can start a new, a new ground. Let's place some ground. We'll decorate it in a bit. Let's grab a, a spawn location. So there's these special objects I have for spawning. So this will be the player spawn location. I'll try and explain what I'm doing, but honestly, I don't even understand half of what I'm doing. So I need to make this 246. Then what we have to do is, this is what level is this? This is level five we're doing. So let's copy level four logic, move it down here, press build helper. Change this to level five, and we gotta change a few things. So number one, we wanna change the spawn location to two, four, six. So we'll change teleport to be two, four, six. So the player teleports there. Uh, for now, I'm gonna remove the win condition logic. Why the heck is there two group IDs on this? 201, 203, 201. What? What? I don't even know what is going on. All I know is that these all have 203, so I probably shouldn't remove 203. Except for this. This doesn't all have 203 for some reason. Like, this has group ID 203. This is group ID. This doesn't have 203. Why does it not have 203? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's give this group ID 203. For some reason, I don't even know why. See, this is what happens when you get messy trigger logic. So right now, this should never activate because because I haven't set up activation. Okay, whatever. Let's just let's see it. Let's see if the teleportation working, so we can at least open the level. Uh, I need to copy paste this. Give it a new ID. Twenty-five. So now, when the player touches block twenty-five, it should teleport to there. I don't know, let's just see what happens. Ah, oh, shoot, we gotta sit through this every time. I might- I might disable this intro sequence for now. Cause this will be boring to sit through. The orchestral music flaring in the background has <laughs> as moldy as a mental breakdown from triggers. True. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Have I ever beaten an extreme demon? I have not beaten an extreme demon. My hardest is like medium demon, maybe hard demon, depending on who you ask. Because I beat a hard demon once before it turned medium demon. I mean, back when it was hard demon, it wasn't like just recently raided. Whatever. There we go. It worked. We're in the level now. There's not much here, but we opened the level. And if we jump too far this way, we should be able to see this level. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, name, let's give it a name. That's probably a good idea. So let's, um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 2, 5, 1. Let's name it, like, uh... Hushroom Hills. I don't know. Maybe we'll change the name. 2, 5, 1. So to then, then, to make it show that name, we have to go to here, set this to be 2, 5, 1. And then that should... Oh, I don't want to sit through this stupid... Okay, wait, how do I do this? Uh, I'm gonna make a way to disable the menu. What group ID is this? This is group ID 245. Let's make this 245. 
four, five. Uh, here, how do I skip this intro? Just skip it. I have to enable... Yo, two Canadian dollars! Hi, I said, where did you get the dancing icon? Thank you so much for the... For the two dollars. Uh, I got it from GD Colon's site. I'll see if I can find the link, because GD Colon made a generator for it. So if we go to gdcolon.com and go to, uh, websites... Here it is, Bouncy Icon Generator. It doesn't have all icons available, but there's the link if you really want. You could generate your own bouncy icons there. Yeah, it doesn't have all the icons or anything, but it is pretty... It's pretty cool. It has a good few icons. And you can change the colors and stuff, and it'll, like, make it bouncy. Anyway, thanks so much for the two dollars. It means a lot. Alright, this is group ID 242, so I have to spawn 242 immediately. When I, if I want to, uh... If I want to skip the intro. Let's see if it works. It worked! It worked! We skipped the intro! So that'll, that'll make playtesting this much easier. So let's go to level 5 now, and now the name should be what, what we set it to, like Hushroom Hills or whatever. Hushroom Hills, there we go, we got a working name now. Don't see red mushrooms and purple ones that shoot killer spores. Shooting killer spores sounds difficult to make, but we'll see. I just subbed. Yo, thank you. It's a lot. Maybe have more levels by reusing previously used song triggers by moving them. Uh, you can actually reuse songs. So, I could make like six worlds and each world has its own song. The problem is every level in that world would have to share the same song, which would be- which would suck, I think. I don't know. I can't- I just want each level to have its own song. Otherwise, I think it'll get very stale and very boring real quick, but theoretically, you could just reuse the same, like, ten songs over and over. Use the sound effects trigger to make songs equal infinite songs. That is true. <laughs> you could theoretically... Like, people have, have used the sound effect triggers to make their own songs, so that is technically possible. The spores would just be purple saws. Yeah, I know, but we'd have to, like, make them shoot. Actually, may maybe we can do it. Maybe we could make these spores shoot, we'll see. That would be very cool if we had like a, a cannon type thing in this game. Other side have more than, have tons of songs. I don't know if there is a hard limit. I think it's just the size of the songs. Cause I managed to get to up to 11 on Moldy games. So I assumed 11 was the limit, but it, maybe it's not. I think it like the, the size of songs matter. All right, whatever. Let's um, let's start by getting ourselves a ground. Let's make a ground. It's probably a good start. There we go. We have a ground now. Also, if I change one thing here. If I make this turn to opacity 100, that should automatically add a background to that level, but only if we enter level 1 first because of the way I have my background set up. Which which is going to happen in the main game because you can't actually progress without beating level 1. So epic level making moment. I know it's going to be so boring. I bet I'm going to lose all of you just because of how like tedious the trigger logic is in this. But now if we play this, we should have a background. Yo, we do. That's awesome. It doesn't look great, but it's good enough for the vibe I'm going for. So now we have a level and some grounds. <laughs> Can I turn the background to dark blue? Well, the, the things are... the... the... Hills are, are already dark blue, so I'm worried if I make it dark blue, it'll blend in too much with that. I don't know, we'll see.
Here, let's start by making a bouncy mushroom. Because I know that's one of the gimmicks that we want in this level. So let's see. Uh, where's our spawn location? There's our spawn location. Let's see what blocks we have here to make like a nice looking mushroom with. What do mushrooms normally look like? Uh, I don't know. Could this be a mushroom? Rob really should have given us some like mushroom blocks. That would have been cool, I think. Let's see. We might have to make a custom mushroom because I don't think there's too much we can work with here. Okay, let's go back. There is this one like, there's this one block which looks promising. This one here, can we make mushrooms out of this? Like if we say, make like, like a mushroom like this. Make these black. And get like a red, a red color here. So let's make it be 100% red. Made this be like T2, make sure it's white. Does that look like a mushroom? <laughs> Maybe if we alternate it a bit. I want to make a platformer game type level, but I do not want to learn triggers. I agree. I suck at triggers. 2.2 made it so much easier though. Like everything I'm doing is technically possible in 2.1. Actually, there's an, there's an asterisk there, but technically it could be done in 2.1. But 2.2 improves the triggers a lot, so it's nice. That is indeed a mushroom. Does this look like a mushroom? Like, if I showed you this without telling you that it's a mushroom, would it look like a mushroom? And then we can just make this bouncy? Maybe if I, like, rotate it a bit more? Is that a mushroom? We'll see, we'll see. So, we will make this be don't fade, don't glow. And now, what we're gonna do is put this on it. I know, I'm so original. Wait, let's actually show hitboxes real quick. I want this hitbox to line up perfectly. There we go. There we go. So now, when we spawn, we should have a mushroom. That is a rectangle shroom. <laughs> oh, I gotta disable that effect. Uh, let's shoot. We have to dis we have to select just just the bounce pads and turn on no effects. That will make it so that you don't see like the the circle when you bounce on it. Do a face reveal, 250k subs. I might do a face reveal later this year, so you guys should subscribe. Maybe I should attach a goal to it. I kind of want to record my face reveal now because I like this weather that I'm ha that we're getting right now. I only recently remembered blending room the outlines for text. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Now, now we're bouncing. Boing. Boing. Progress, chat. Progress! Now, should we make this a an auto-scroller? Oh my god. I kind of want to make an auto-scroller. And this is like our last level before the castle. So I really want to make this an auto-scroller. It's just, I, do, I don't like the idea of having an auto-scroller right after a water level. No. <laughs> Maybe we can make the castle like a half auto-scroller. Okay, you guys really want, let's, let's do a vote. Start the pull. Auto-scroller? Yes, no. Boats. Should we make this an auto scroller? Yes or no? 
Yes is winning, dang. That moldy, how do I save the icon? For the for the bouncy icon generator? I don't know, just right click it and click like save as or something. I wouldn't know. I think it's just a GIF. You guys are actually voting yes for an auto scroller? Really, that's crazy. Auto scroller would make it cooler and feel more like an actual platformer. Yeah, I know. That's why I kind of want to make it an auto scroller. We can do some interesting challenges with that too. Like we can have, we can have like secrets where you have to like bounce up before like the screen scrolls. Let's try that. Now, if we want to make it an auto scroller, we have to change it a little bit. So first, we have to add a uh, a guide. We have to add our own camera. So let's make this say 252. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. So let's make this all be 252. 252, it has to be follow. We want it to be on everything. We can also move this in. So now when we start the level, when we start the level, the camera should be locked onto this. And then we'll just move that, that camera object to make it an auto scroller. So let's just travel all the way to level 5, and then press start. There we go, see that? That's working. Oh wait, we gotta actually add the... we gotta add borders. Here, let's make this be like... I don't know, let's just choose like editor level 10. And then I forget, we gotta add borders, so I believe it's like this is our border? Uh, yeah, this is it. So this... Okay, I actually gotta make this be 3 up because of the way my stuff works. It's a long story. So if I can, I can make this like C1, so it's invisible. And then we'll, we'll lock all these together, because it's supposed to move together. So now, we shouldn't be able to go off screen. Maybe blue mushrooms to change gravity. Yeah, there are a lot of options we can do with mushrooms. I just don't want to make it too complicated. Actually, it is like the last level before the castle, so maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can go a little out of hand with it. There we go. Perfect. So now you can't escape the screen. So now it's actually possible to get crushed as well. I've been working on this a few days now, I believe. I've been pretty much making like one level a day for the past few days. Although I did spend like a whole day or two just working on the map logic. That took a while. And the pause logic as well. That pause menu, like, I didn't think it would be hard, but it, it was. Will I add more icons? Maybe, I don't know. How to make a bouncy icon? Uh, go to Judy Colon's website, and he has a he has a generator for them where you can make bouncy icons like mine. Pause menus are stuff I do when I'm bored. Easy, like this pause menu. This one took me a solid minute to figure out. It's just so many things to consider. I don't know. We'll see. Can I make the background darker and grayer than the hills? We'll see. Uh, I'll mess around with the background and stuff after. I don't really want to waste time doing that now. Whatever. Now, here's the here's the big problem, chat. We need to make this auto scroller move. 
So, we can give all this, say, group 253. And then we'll activate 253 here. So we will have, say, group 253. We'll make it move, like, maybe a hundred blocks? Maybe, let's start with 50 blocks. Wait. No, that's 10 blocks. This is 50 blocks, okay. 50 blocks in like 50 seconds. We'll mess with this later. We'll make it spawn trigger 253. Give it a group 254. So this will be activated by 254. So let's make this shoot. Let's make this 254. And then we also need to make this be 249. Which means it'll activate that after two. Okay. I don't know if any of you understood what I just did. I don't even fully understand it, but now the, it should start scrolling at about one block a second, I think. Which might be too slow. We might want to speed it up, but speeding it up is easy. We just need to make it work right now. It's not moving. What did I do? I broke it. This is level 5. This is 249. Oh, I messed up. It's supposed to be 254. Not just 54. 254. Okay. Now it should work. <laughs> womp womp. True. That thumbnail looks like he stole the ring from Sonic. I made that thumbnail in two seconds. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! We're moving! We're moving! This is very slow, but it's moving! Oh no, we're gonna fall. Thought I was supposed to die if I fall. Why do I not die? There's supposed to be a spike that like does that. Two hundred. Uh, that's why this isn't supposed to be here. That's why that trigger was disabling the spike that kills you if you fall out of the map. Okay. So now, okay, I want to actually adjust this timing because um, two seconds is too long. Let's try one second. So that, that means it should start moving after one second. No spam, no spam, no spam. Spam bad. Auto scroller. Boom. Okay, now we actually need to think of some gameplay. We'll see, we'll see. Does the menu stop the scrolling? Wait! No! 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 Okay, we gotta, we gotta fix something. <laughs> You're on to something, man. Okay, let's give this 255. Let's make the pause menu pause. 255. And then we will have it resume. 255. See, there are a lot, there's still a lot of work we gotta do with the pause menu. We also gotta make it reset somehow. You're cooking though, thank you for reminding me. Now now it should work. Now the pause menu should pause the auto-scrolling. That could have been really bad. Let's let it start. 
Okay, there you go. It's a little delayed, but it's good enough. Now, here's the problem, chat. If we say save and exit and go back in. Yeah, there's the problem. So what we need to do is... Uh, here, we gotta set a stop trigger. Zoom, 255. We're actually gonna stop 255 whenever we go back to the map. Which is gonna be on group 89. Two five five. But we need a way to reset it. We need a way to reset the auto scroller. So I'm gonna do that using targeted movement. So I have uh two five two is this center thing. We'll make this be two five six. So we want two five two to move to two five six. So let's make a move trigger. Uh Two five two to two five six. The center is that. That's that. That's that. Spawn trigger, multi trigger. Let's make it be the same group idea as this, which is eighty nine. Boom, eighty nine. Now, if we start the level, exit, go back into it, the auto scroll should reset. I'm thinking number between 1 and 20. What is it? Is it 17? <laughs> Here we go. So we can pause. Save and exit. Go back in. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, we have to make it X only. There we go. That should fix it. Hold the unfold the screen extended. You can see areas that you shouldn't see. Yes, but I'm two steps ahead of you because this black border around, around is um, that's the reason it's there to block uh, to block phones and stuff from seeing things you're not supposed to. So that's why the aspect ratio is fixed in this, which kind of sucks honestly because I don't like fixed aspect ratios, but it works for this. Make sure the scrolling doesn't happen in other levels. It shouldn't. I think I think it's good. So what matters is that we need the scrolling to reset whenever we whenever we come back in the level. So we can pause, save and exit. Then go back in and it should reset. Yes, let's go. We have working auto scroller. It looks really ugly, but it's progress. Got to go. All right, take care, man. What happens if he pauses in the other levels? Uh, just well, it just pauses. Like pause works uh, works in every level. It'll just like stop at uh, objects that might be moving and stuff. It's just, just that. So then when we go to level 5 again, it shouldn't... It shouldn't have, you know... It should... The auto-scroller should reset. Ah ha ha! We did it! We made a working level! Okay, let's actually uh, start working on this thing. So let's um, let's actually start making some gameplay. So where's our spawn location? Let's set our spawn location to shoot to there, which means we can have our. I want to have some spikes just before it. Just because this is a, a later level in the game, so it can be a little harder. The point is, you spawn here, you can go here, let's place some coins. Also, I'll, I'll, I'll add the background after chat. For now, I'm just not going to worry about it. 
We can add some coins, so boom. That's a good first jump, I think. Moldy's slowly turning into Sputnik. No, not at all, man. I wish I could do, like, 3D games and stuff, but I, I cannot do that. I can barely make this 2D game. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Maybe we, won't, maybe we want to give them more time. Now that I think about it. Because <laughs> you spawn right next to the thing. Yeah, so we want to give them a little bit more space to, to get started. Would it be possible to make an admin menu without it getting leaked? Um, not really. Like, if I added, like, maybe I could make, like, a cheat code that enables admin mode, but it makes it so you can't beat the level. Like, you can't get the moons from the level. So you can, like, explore it and stuff, but yeah. But, I mean, the lo level will be copyable, so... All levels are copyable now. Make a secret level. I really want to. I really want to make a secret level after you beat the game, but I don't know. Whatever. So we got to think of some cool things to do here. So right now we have mushrooms. What are some cool things we can do with mushrooms? Like... Make pizza tower style secret rooms. I don't. I haven't actually played pizza tower, so I'm not sure how those work. But yeah, we're gonna have to make this auto scroller move more, but whatever. Eat them and become big. True. No, no. We need like. Let's see. So after this one, we can make like a level where you have to like. to like I don't know go up I don't know this is hard like what can we do with mushrooms it's an interesting gimmick I just don't know what we can do with it we need we need some gameplay ideas So you can jump here, you can jump up here. This 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 will this here will be the one to introduce the topic. And let's start a little bit more by adding like a a little jump like this. Just to make it clear what you have to do. Alright, that should help people figure out what to do. Let's also work on the auto- let's make the auto-scroller a little faster. Instead of moving 50 blocks, let's make it move 100 blocks. In the same amount of time, so that way it's- okay, maybe, maybe a little slower. So 60 seconds is probably enough to move 100 blocks. Mushrooms teleport you to a mini-game- a hidden mini-game would be kind of cool. We can also get some of these blocks and make like a little not like not not, not a secret but a little like a uh, bonus area if you can jump up here if you can jump up here you can get some more coins that kind of thing oh i really want to have to i really want to be able to just skip down there because this is so painful having to walk all the way around the map just to get to level five. Oh, there you go. So now it's like you can go up here. Oh gosh, it's actually tough. That's good. Oh wait, that's not even possible. <laughs> Let's lower it. Uh oh. Let's lower it. There we go.
Am I gonna make map gate slash restrictions? Like you can't pass the next level before getting to the previous- Yeah, I, I, I've already made those, I've just disabled them because of testing purposes. Here, so now you can go up here, you can go here, you can jump up here. This feels way too easy. Okay, we'll make the next challenge be a lot harder. So it'll be like, you have to jump. You have to jump- Oh my goodness, if you have to jump between spikes, that'll be so hard. <laughs> That sounds insane though, like a challenge like this. Like you have to jump between spikes. I mean, you can even make a little uh, thing where you can like jump up here to get some coins. Like uh, some hidden coins off screen. And that's also good at diamonds. Uh, let's fetch a diamond and plop it here, just because we need to hide these around the level. So that diamond should be pretty hidden. Well, I'll move this over a bit just so that the player has enough area to, area to jump down here. motion that gives you a higher jump for one jump. That could be cool. Although, we're already jumping pretty high. I don't know, we'll see. Let's just come up with some cool gameplay for this. So we can jump here, we go here, we can jump up here for some coins, we jump across here. That's a very easy thing. And here's the first challenge. You have to jump up here. I kind of want to make these, like, just, just a little bit higher. Let's make it a little harder. I don't know. Uh, do I have any... Here, let's, let's copy some of this. Try this. Let's actually test this out. Who do I like more, SD or Wolsey? I like them both. I don't really have a preference. They're both cool people. Did I collab with Wolsey? Not on a level, on a video? Maybe? I don't know. I've been in a lot of videos. Maybe I was in one with him. I don't think so, actually. I was gonna invite him to the hide and seek video, but he was um away at the time, so Well like like taking a break from the internet is what I mean. I'm gonna remove these spikes. They seem kinda of brutal. There we go, we can have a little One of these. He made an S to 300k with this one. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There is a race. There is a race going on between me and him. Nah, no auto scroll. My condolences. I know. It's some people. A lot of people don't like auto scrollers. I don't want to make like a little hidden secret here. That would be a good spot for a diamond, but I don't know. Maybe we'll do it for later in the level because it's too close to this diamond. So speaking of diamonds, let's figure out. Uh, we haven't set. Let's figure out how long this level needs to be. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's actually how long the auto stroller is currently set to go to, up to here. But we can make it longer if we really wanted. <laughs> if we did something like this 
where people can like go in here. We can hide it. We can hide some. Uh, we can hide another diamond here. Okay, this is way too close to the first one. Oops, not not two. Uh, do I have anything here? We can copy. Uh, here, can I get a? Let's get one of these. These are my semi-solids that we can copy. Semi-solid. Cool. So we can have like something like this. People can go down here and jump up here if they really wanted to. Okay, this, this will be a cool challenge, something like uh, like this. And just to hide more secrets, you can never have too many secrets, we'll hide some coins up here. I don't know. You can't actually get up there right now. Let's put a block here. Then. I don't actually know if I'm gonna do this because I have a spike like right here and that might get too close to it. Maybe we can do something like this. No, I don't know. I don't think there's an easy way to hide secrets there. Mushrooms are less bouncy while mushrooms with red dots make you bounce higher. We could actually do that actually. Yeah, we should do that for the twist, because a lot of like Mario games have like a twist, like when you reach like halfway through the level, the twist there's a twist. I don't know. Is that even in camera? No, it's not. That's why I wanted it to be a secret. Because I wanted it to be above the camera, so you had to like go looking for it. Bounce up and down, boing, boing. 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 Oh, that's tough. I like that. <laughs> oh, right. okay, that's tough. We should really have something like this then. So you have to go down and then bounce up there. I like that. Which means we actually don't need any of these side things. You know, here we go down here, we jump up here. That's good. Let's figure out when the twist is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is actually the twist here, assuming we're going to keep this length. I don't want to keep this length, man. This length is way too short. Let's make this longer. Like, say, 150 blocks in like 100 seconds. Not even that. Let's do like 80 seconds or something, 70 seconds. So that means we need to move an extra 50 blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This might be too fast now, we'll see. Although, faster would be good because this is a later level in the game. Right now the water level is really short, which I'm kind of fine with because it's a water level, but I kind of want to make it longer. But I just don't want every level to be short, so... 
But I also want them to be bite-sized. I have a lot of conflicting opinions. Okay, this is, this is faster, I think, but I kind of like that. Because otherwise it can get really boring. Dang, that's tough. I also, I also want to, uh, just right here, I want to add a... a way to jump up here. But I don't know if that's a good idea. No, it's fine. We'll just do that. So we jump down here and you have to go over this. Another one where you have to go do this. This is pretty hard. I like it though. Make it harder than free stars. True. New hardest. Faster, honestly. All right, let's figure out where the twist is. Then we'll make some smaller mushrooms. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's a good spot to make a twist. So when we hit this block here, we'll add a different kind of mushroom just to vary it a bit. Let's try like a, a nice hard thing like this. A pretty pretty tough challenge here with lots of spikes. Okay, let's go right here. Let's also add a whole bunch of these. Let's also add secrets up here just because you never have too many secrets. You can jump up here, jump up here. <laughs> I kind of want to add more, uh more diamonds. Like, I, I want to add a diamond here. Like, we gotta be careful with how, how we, with where we're spamming these. kind of want to move this one. I feel like this one doesn't need to be here. It's just a little coin secret. We can move this one, say, like here. Or even better, we can put it like right here, like just out of reach. I think that's out of reach, right? Probably not, actually. Because I would like to keep the diamonds visible. Ah, shoot. But, yeah, I would like to keep the diamonds visible just because, um... Just because otherwise it could be hard to, like, like see where they are without looking up a tutorial. I don't want people to use tutorials. I want people to, like, uh... Ah, shoot. I want people to, like, discover them on their own. So if I can have the diamonds all be visible, so the people at least know where to look, I think that'll be good. Oh yeah, we're still collecting that diamonds. I think it has to be invisible because we can't fit it. Like yeah, we're still collecting that. I guess it has to be invisible, my condolences. <laughs> That's 
add more of this. Let's also add a, uh, let's just add a little, little platform for us to chill on for the halfway point. You have to bounce there because it's a darn bouncy level. This is cool. I kind of want to make the auto scroller a little faster. Just because um, this is supposed to be a hard level, like it's near the end of the game. Although I could always just nerf the beginning levels. The camera control is more visible. How do you mean, like? To level five. Yeah, I can always change the speed if I need to. Yeah, I know, so I'm not too worried. Like, we can make it faster if we really wanted. Because this, it, the problem is, this is a very late game level, so I really want it to be, like, hard. Honestly, I think it's kind of hard. Tower Between Worlds is my menu theme. Yo, I'm vibing right now. True. Uh, where's that from? Is that a Pizza Tower reference or something? <whistles> Whoa. When is stream done? Whenever we finish this level. Dang, this is tough. Maybe we don't need a faster auto scroller. Okay, now we can still use a faster auto scroller. Because we're not dying to the auto scroller, so. Slightly slanting when moving left and right reminds me of that one time game called GD Genesis, the original platformer mode. Is that the game that like inspired Robbed Up to add platformer levels and like single-handedly delayed 2.2 by like six years? Okay, no, I'm kidding. Nah. Honestly, I've started to see GD fan games as more of an art form. I kinda wanna make my own just for fun. But at the same time, the GD editor is just so good at this point to the point where like if I ever wanted to make something, I could just make it in GD. Maybe I should make a GD fan game in GD. Dang. 
That is hard, honestly. It might actually raise those ones up. So you can still touch them. It's just... It's less... Like, it's easier to dodge. Also, while we're here, we might as well increase the auto-scroller just a little bit. Just because it's, like... It can be kind of boring. At least make other enemies or lives. I actually did have a live system or in early versions of this game, but I removed it just because it's like, I don't know, I don't really want to put that stress upon people. I kind of want this to be like a simple, lighthearted game for people to enjoy. So there's no lives. You get infinite tries. enemies then maybe enemies are hard because like you got to have like enemy logic and stuff and that's hard to program in GD I might actually raise that one up as well this one can stay down Maybe this one should go up as well. There we go. Add the blue coin sound effect whenever you get diamonds. I could. I uh, you wouldn't hear it because I'm I'm not, I'm not that's why I'm not working on sound effects right now because I'm streaming and you guys can't hear the sound effects, but Let's see, let's see. Someone has violated my rules! Don't worry, chat. I have ghost lurking mods that, 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 that can ban people. Only 50 watching. That's because I'm, I'm doing trigger logic and no one likes trigger logic. Understandably. <laughs> Oh shoot! I should have just sent it. Didn't see the eclipse of my country? Ah, it's alright. At the earlier of this stream, uh, we made a level showcasing what I saw for the eclipse. So if you were on a skip earlier in the stream, you can check that out. It's not that interesting. It, it's kind of cool how it got like sort of dark, but let's see. Boing, 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 boing. Here we go, we made it. Trigger tr tr logic is my favorite thing to do in GD. I'm not kidding. Call me a nerd or not. I'd love to see my hands create complex behavior. I do agree. Like, it was very interesting trying to make all the logic for this level, which is uh, an absolute mess. But, you know, it is all here. 
it's really interesting how I can like, you know, make like an actual game and stuff in GD. It's like programming and I like programming, so it's cool, but yeah, I can see why some people might not like it. It's interesting because it makes the game kind of harder, but it also makes it like like it makes like a lot more people enjoy it. Like a lot of programmers and stuff can enjoy the game now because of trigger logic. I just do wish it was a little bit more accessible. At least common things. Alright. Let us make a different kind of a uh, of a uh, thing here you guys really wanted. So let's what is the size of this? This is 1.20. Let's make 1.20 there we go. Let's make it be ready one extra, no effects. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's grab this, make this a different color. I think you guys wanted like purple or something. Am I gonna release this level? Not today, but eventually. I hope so, yeah. What is my... What is my second favorite game? Not my favorite game, my second favorite game. I don't have a clue, man. I have a lot of favorites, but I haven't really, like, chosen to, like, rank any as, like, second place. Once you really understand everything, triggers become fun and you just get better and better over time. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm sure that comes with everything. Like even, I know there's a lot of people who like struggle with deco as well. So I'm sure like, you know, all I gotta do is do it. Scary. Okay, we're, we're going, we're going. Boing. Okay, I kind of want to, I know I want to do like this and have a uh, little platform be like up here. But I also want to have like a little, a little jumpy thing over here to get another diamond maybe. So you can add jump up here to get into diamonds. If you're quick at least. I kinda wanna remove this diamond just because it's too hidden, I feel. Maybe we'll put it back if we want. For example, I was only able to make script but based boss three years ago with pretty simple systems and such and now I can make genuine games I mean stuff that can totally compete with real games oh yeah for sure GD is incredibly powerful when you get that like that knowledge and stuff make a spike deco we don't need spike deco guys this is a silly a silly pixel game <laughs> Silly thing. Here 
here's an interesting thing. How do you escape this? We can make like a little uh, thing here. How far are we till the end? Okay, we're almost at the end. So if we want to find a, a place for a third gem, we could just put it like, like up here somewhere. I think up here is a good spot, honestly. We'll see, we'll see. This pixel game, the spikes are not pixelated. They are with the pixel filter. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I changed my mind. We're gonna move uh, this. We're gonna move this to be here. It should be a good spot. And simple logic is ridiculous fast to build. I made a fully fledged boss fight in one day. I, even, I'm right now to the point where even like a UI takes me like a solid 10, 20 minutes. Because I, I, I don't know if this is the best way to do it anymore. I still use collision triggers rotating around a center object for my UIs. And I think there's better ways, but that's the way I know. And it takes me a little bit each time, but, you know, it's not too hard. Here you go. So now we can go up here. Get some more of these. To be fair, this is harder than the tower verse. Is this really harder than that? Because I kind of want to request easy demon for this, but I think it might be too easy. I don't know. We'll see. It does get progressively harder, but I'm worried that players might not realize that. And I, I really don't want what happened to Colin to happen to me. He got a bunch of hate for his level, so I kind of want to make this easier than harder. the auto scroll on death wait what is the auto scroller it's group id 255 so on death can i activate 255 or pause i mean pause 255 on group id 101 so now when you die the auto scroller should stop as well so you can actually like see where you died Forgot about the eclipse. I almost did, but don't worry, it's fine. I'm gonna change the playlist. I don't like this one. Uh, let's go to here. Here's a bunch of stream songs. actually kind of close. Maybe this is a good speed. Okay, yeah, I think this is a good enough speed, actually. <laughs> After just barely getting some of those. I also never need this one because that's... Maybe, maybe we'll put it there. 
Is my eclipse clear? Mine was 98% and uh, there were clouds, but the moment the eclipse started to happen, the clouds went away, so I super lucked out. But yeah, a lot of people got screwed over by clouds, which I, yeah makes sense, I guess, but it's unfortunate. Silly request if it's not copyrighted. Can I play Isolation by Nighthawk? That is unfortunately copyrighted, so I can't play it, but it is a good song, yes. So play some more spikes since this is supposed to be hard level. Alright. There we go, this is cool. We got our three gems. Cole made a new gun called Rugs Base and Reuploads into some GD copies. I know, I saw that. It's awesome. <laughs> Never before have I thought I'd get so invested in, in GD clones. Oh, they actually took the idea for the purple mushroom. Yeah, I think that's cool. We have a smaller mushroom now that jumps to not as high. Let's see, what, what do we want to do for the finale of this? Let's do like something like this. Uh let's get a semi-solid. I have a semi-solid over here, I think. Semi solid. There we go. Let's actually put it here. And then over here, I'll have some uh, hidden coins. I think that works. This is a little finale. Now let's uh, get ourselves a winning, a winning flag. I have one here. I can copy. Now, if you can get past the flag before you touch it, you can get a little, a little reward. Also, this is what is this? This is B two. What is this? This is B two. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make all this be B3 just so that I can have it be underneath the semi solid. Okay, there we go. We should be good. We can go here, we can jump up here, hit the thing. It's cool. One, two, three. No, I don't want you. That's it. Let's uh, give it a try. Then we'll add some decorations and the level should be like done. You still might have to do some more trigger logic, so those of you who hate that, uh, my condolences. Okay, we still gotta do the winning logic now.
let's go. There we go, I beat it. <laughs> now we gotta actually do the win logic. Uh, so the win logic is going to be as simple as, well first things first, y'all said you wanted barriers. Here's your barrier. We gotta make this barrier have 257, and we'll have 257 uh, toggle off. Should be 2 5 7. should toggle off, which means after you beat the level, that barrier will be removed. So let's uh, grab all this, which is 203. Let's make this be 250. Wait, this is 250. So we want to activate 250 upon level completion. There we go. And another thing we probably want to do is toggle off this 255. We want to stop 255. That's just gonna stop the thing from scrolling. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Try testing this win logic now. Just right now, let's test uh, the pausing logic. It's probably a good idea. So we should restart. Yes, that is good. I hope this isn't bad for an auto scroller level. I tried to make it scroll fast, so. And it does, and the gameplay is at least based around it somewhat because you have to, uh, like, like part of the gameplay is to race the auto scroller to collect things like gems or diamonds or whatever they're called. Yo, two, I think that's Australian dollars. I'll check that in a minute. Love your vids. Thank you, Bubba Boo Boo, for the two A dollars. I think that's Australian dollars. That's cool. Thank you so much for the very generous donation. W Bubba Boo Boo, true. That is a W moment indeed. I think it would be too hard if it was faster. Yeah, I, th I think we found a good, uh, a good speed, which is nice. Now we should be able to replay it. There we go, that's good. Uh, another thing we gotta do is uh, make the plate that we're standing on turn green after we beat the level. So we wanna turn color 72 green, color 72. There we go. Uh, that should be everything, I think. Yo, Bubba Boo Boo, 10 Australian dollars. Thank you so much. That's your fifth super on a live stream. That's awesome. Thank you so much. 10 A's. 10, 10 A dollars. Australian dollars. That is insane. Thank you. I think that's Australian. I'm, I'm probably making a big fool of myself, but whatever.
Bubba Bubba about to drop the 10 mil true. Bubba Boo Boo. That is the best username I've ever heard in a while. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, here. Uh, actually, let's add some deco real quick. Uh, I wanted to add mushrooms, so let's do that. Mushroom! And then there's uh, these. There's our mushrooms. Let's make these all group ID 6 and copy this so we can paste them around. I also really want to, uh, I want to move this here, then grab these and I can move these this way. No, we can just remove that and we'll have ourselves stay very cool. Spawn location. I don't know. I'm just gonna donate for no reason. Thank you again, Bubba Boo Boo, for the five Australian dollars. Bubba Boo Boo is the best evening ever. Don't so let anyone tell you otherwise. And Molly is my fave. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Cool. Let's place one of these up here, and we'll place like one of these, and we will have ourselves a cool thing. There we go. Now we got some deco. Apart from Juni, hey, that's fair. I'll take it. Second to Juniper. It's a win in my book. All right, I'm just gonna load the first level first so that the background can be set. So now when we play this level, there should be a background and some decoration. And when we beat it, it should turn green as well. So let's try that. This ain't right, wait, wait, wait. This is so, okay, I know why this is happening. <laughs> Okay, we have to change the background a bit. <laughs> What's this, 253? We gotta make the background static and make it 253. So let's go up here, grab this. Let's make a static 253 background. 253. Okay, that should be better. What is that dude? Why are there mushrooms under the map? That's just so that I can copy paste it easier. I could remove it before the final level release if you guys really want. There we go. See, there we go. Now we got a, a better background. See, now this is starting to come together. Ah, shoot. I still want to... Okay, y'all will not hear this, but I'm going to very quickly add the mushrooms to the sound effect. So you guys won't hear this, but right now I have an orb activated on a as a trigger for something. I want to find, find, like, pad activated. Pink pad and yellow pad, which means we can actually get sound effects for not only the orbs but for the mushrooms as well. You guys won't even hear it, but I will because I have sound on, but I have it turned off because it's copyrighted for you guys. What is this chat? I don't know, man. This is what happens when I do trigger logic. No one understands anything, so they just become un-understandable. Un I don't know. 
I don't hear the sound, so I did that wrong, but whatever. didn't set the wind condition right. This is 250. Uh, we needed to activate group 250 when it finishes. It is though, what? This is so confusing. What? Stop 250. It has 250. This is toggling 203. I'm so confused. I broke it. When you win, it activates 250. This is so confusing. gamers I'm gonna mute the entire chat because because chat quality bad I don't like bad chat quality uh, what if I pause instead of stop oh, I have to stop it though or pause let's try pausing it shouldn't change anything though I'm so confused pause 255 Bubba Boo Boo with two Australian dollars. I don't attend if you said chicken nugget in a Brit accent. I do not have a British accent. Chicken nugget. See what I mean? Like I can't, I can't do it. Wa -o, wa o I just don't say the T's. I think that's what Brad does. I don't know what's going on in chat, but something is going on. I'm exactly the same. Chat is just, let's just let chat be chat. They can, they can do whatever chat does. though ba ba boo boo yo 10 australian dollar double boo ba ba boo boo thank you so much you tried i tried <laughs> chicken it i don't know chicken nuggets it that doesn't sound like a british thing i think it's like an american slash canadian slash north american thing so I don't think I've ever heard. I'll ask Brad next time. I'll be like, can you say chicken nugget in your accent? Oh, it stopped. 
making it a pause trigger worked what? Hey, it worked. The, the the thing is green now. See, level five is green, which it should be because we beat it already. For one point away from fifty, come on. I just saw the solar eclipse. Yo, that's awesome. Starts moving, and start moving. Fix it, we just gotta make this be 255. That works, right? Stopping a spawn trigger before it activates. I don't know, we'll find out. As a British, I think people making access is funny, but the slander is just annoying. <laughs> Oh gosh, I think Brad's used to it by now, but Brad is not as funny one. Hey, I think so. Now if you stop, it'll stop scrolling. It's all in good shape, no. I kind of want to change this little name because I don't like Hushroom Hills even though it's a Hushroom reference. sounds I don't think that's appropriate we gotta do bounce bounce <laughs> mushroom gorge true make a cart reference and false reporting I wouldn't be worried about false reporting guys Ain't no YouTube employee gonna take that seriously mushroom fields Bounce, bounce, gorge. So it's like mushroom gorge, but it's bounce, bounce instead of mushroom. So it's half original. <laughs> spring shroom heights. Yo, spring shroom sounds hard. That goes hard. Spring shroom gorge. That goes insanely hard. Spring shroom. I like that. Oh, I just realized I forgot to close the earlier poll about doing an auto scroller. Well, hope you guys want to see the results now it's in. I do that a lot. I always forget to close polls. Yo. 
this I love these two gems because you gotta be super quick with them. I inspired most things level five. Auto scroller and name true. There we go, and now we can actually pass it. I wanna restart just to see if it's possible to pass it without beating it. Because I, I haven't actually tested that yet. But now we shouldn't be able to pass it until we beat it. So if we go here, we should not be able to pass it. Yes, yeah, so let's go. We can't. And we can play it, and then when we beat it, we'll be able to go past it. Dash lands. I'm actually gonna remove that barrier right now just for testing purposes. Yeah, now we can go here and we're, we're pretty good. Why is my cube Browtops cube? Because uh, it's a custom cube. There we go. So now all we need to do is. Uh, we got to do this shop here. Let's do that now just because it's pretty quick and then level six Which will be a fun challenge because level six. I wanted to use the gimmicks of all previous levels. So that'll be That'll be fun But the, the level we just made, I really, really want to move one of the mushrooms. One of the I want to move this to be here, just because um, I think that's such a clever spot to put it. Because we already get, like this this one and this one's pretty much the same. So let's keep this one here because it's harder. Then we'll move this one here. So it's actually a little secret if you manage to get past the past the, the finish line. Need a boss for level six. Oh yeah, trust me, I'm gonna be making a boss all right. It'll be like three phases and stuff too. Here, let's uh, very quickly make a new shop. That's probably a good idea. Where's our shop at? get a shop I did a thing for this so let's go to here 26 so then the player interacts with uh, 26 they will get they will go to here to we'll take them to the new shop I had a Kirby like victory dance when you beat the boss I kind of want to but I'm lazy. That I means I gotta make like frames of each animation and stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Oh wait, that's going too far. That didn't work. I know why. Uh this needs to be its own it needs to be 275. Seven five. 
while we're here, I kind of want to change this color because every shop has a different color. Yo, Bubble Boo Boo with the two more dollars. Does it say happy birthday to you? Happy birthday, Eric, Eric, Eric. I'm not good at pronunciation. It's awesome though. Thank you for the two dollars again. I don't know why you're giving it to me. It's my man's birthday, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the generous donations. I also want to remove these because we're now in the mushroom area. Let's do like this. There we go. We got a little mushroom, a little rocky area now. I want to make this fully saturated. Ooh, I love the evil. I like it. I also really want to remove this and just make this be a one, one shop uh, one item shop. I'm gonna break the bank. It's alright, man. You don't gotta donate forever. Just a couple dollars is enough. Thank you for the donations, though. I appreciate it. I actually don't make much money from streams. I make most of my revenue from videos, so getting stream donations is nice because it means, like, oh, maybe I can actually do this more. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. So. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's change the name of the shop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just call it something stupid like Castle Shop. I don't think that's around the names in here. It's next to the castle. Two, six, four. Yay! Two, six, four. There we go. So now that shop should work. Ad, you get an ad. <laughs> I get it, man. There's an ad. You don't gotta tell me that many times. There we go. So now we go here. We have another shop. Castle shop, it is true, there are rocks in here. That was a new for me, it's gonna be oh, that's awesome. It's cool seeing all the new people in chat.
Oops. I kind of want to add a way to, to, to disable the mushrooms when you pause. Because right now you're still bouncing. same time I do know that that could lead to like bugs like glitches and stuff I don't know yeah let's give it a try although the only problem with that is it means I have to like uh it means I have to like manually select every single stupid jump pad select every single one of these stupid things in order to do something which I might not even like, so this will be fun. Select this. Actually, this is why you gotta plan ahead so you don't do things like this. That's what they say, measure twice, cut once. I, I measured once, cut a billion times. Just select all. I don't think this pad's being used for anything else. Two, six, five. Select all. Two, six, five. Okay, now we can toggle two, six, five off when we pause, which will disable the bouncing on mushrooms. So we want to toggle on on eighty five. We want to toggle. 265, so 85. I want to toggle 265. We also want to toggle it back on when we're done. So on 83, I want to toggle it on. I also want to toggle it on here. 89. Let's see if that works. Nightmare was my first demon. It was my first demon too. Eating my leftover birthday cake right now. Leftover birthday cake always is the best. <laughs> my first extreme was Aku. My first extreme doesn't exist because I haven't beaten an extreme yet. Wait, yo. Did that actually work? Now let's save and exit. And play again. And yo, that's awesome. We actually got these things actually now stop now and pause. We have a level, we have we made a new shop, we made a solar eclipse, I think chat. I think, believe it or not. I think that's it for this stream. So I'm gonna play the outro music. This is a full game. Is it? I don't know. I think it's like a full game demo because only one world. I kind of want to add seven levels though, so maybe I'll add like a new a level, a level right before level five, like a level right here. We'll see. I don't know. I don't want to spend too long on this. I've already spent many hours on this. Let's actually take a look at the hours we spent. We spent 28 hours. Oh my goodness, this is insane. No, guys, diminution. Hear me out. There's this demon called diminution, and it's uh, it's not the wrong diminution. It's pretty easy. 
I think this might be the easiest demon, guys. A lot of people are saying this is a really easy demon, and I think uh, so. I made it to be a, a good start, a good uh, easy 2.2 demon, like to introduce people to 2.2. It just took a while to get rated, so I didn't get rated in like the first week, like I hope. I gotta go. See you, Moldy and Chad. All right, take care, Bubba Boo Boo. That's the best demon name ever. Actually ending the stream but we made a solar eclipse and we worked on uh, this level it's an SMB3 inspired like little mini game and we made level 5 Anyway, chat, we'll do one final announcement for those of you that are still around. Because this is a top secret announcement. So, we need to play some, uh, some, like, like um, fitting music for this small, stupid announcement. I don't actually have money, like, fitting music. This doesn't fit at all. Whatever. Okay. All right, chat. Before I go, I said at the start of the stream, those of you who watched all the way to the end, even past the outro, will get a quick announcement. So. I will. Okay, at, first of all, let's do a poll for those of you remaining in chat, which isn't a lot, but let's do a poll. How many of you have globed? Do you have globed mod? Yes, no. Because... I'm thinking, I'm thinking about hosting a globed event. I am here, yo. So, globed is pretty accessible now. It's available on all devices, except for iOS. My condolences. Yeah, yeah, most of you have it. Alright, so if you do have it, I highly recommend joining my Discord server. Uh, there's the link to my Discord moldygd.com slash discord should take you to my discord server I recommend joining that because I will be hosting a, a few globed events there and I wanna and I wanna give all of you you guys access to it when you sign up when you when you join there should be like a question that asks if you want to get event notifications I recommend choosing yes because I will be doing some cool events. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I plan to host like a, a hundred person globed event or something in the future, so that'll be fun. Anyway, farewell. Adios, chat. Bye. Bye, I'll stream again in a few days probably.